it's Bron, and today I'm here with my review of Campfire Donut from Bath and Body Works and White Barn Candle. I did a quick cold sniff review of this in my last video along with three other holiday test candles from BBW. If you want to hear my initial first thoughts on it, I smelled it for the very first time on camera. Check out that video, I'll link to it below. But now I've burned this one a good five times, so I want to come back and give you the details. Um, I can't even call this a holiday test candle anymore because it has launched nationwide as of yesterday this entire collection came out and I actually have a haul video too so stay tuned because I'm gonna be posting two videos today I'll have the haul up after this I was really surprised to see this one come out with the rest of the collection even because Bath and Body Works has the tendency around the holidays to release the returning scents first but hold back on the new and yet this one came out with everything else now there is some debate over whether or not this is a repackage and I'll get to that in a second but I did pick up another one yesterday at my local store and I'm also getting a little bit of batch variance between the one I got from the Ohio test store and the one I got at my local store and I'll also talk about that but first I'll read you the notes so notes are uh, powdered sugar glazed donut and cedarwood essential oil and you can just pretend that cedarwood essential oil isn't there because I'm not really getting that, especially not when it's burning at all. But if you watched my haul, you know that when I first sniffed this, the first thing I got was powdered sugar. And I maintain that opinion. To me, the top note on this is really powdered sugar. It smells a whole lot like that to me, just confection or sugar. It's the best way to describe it. Um, there is a definite sweetness that comes through. And I also mentioned in that video when I sniffed it that it smelled a little bit like a sugary cereal, like Fruit Loops, and I'm still getting that too. I haven't changed my mind. Um, I think there's something very weirdly Fruit Loopy about this. Now, um, a lot of other people are describing this as a bread scent, freshly baked bread, and I had caught some of those reviews before I'd ever smelled this, so I was expecting it to be something like Kringle Candles, freshly baked bread, this is like a very savory bread scent. It's extremely yeasty. It really smells like a buttered roll and there's nothing sweet about it. So that's what I was expecting based on what other people were saying. So maybe it's because I was expecting that that this seems more sweet to me. But this definitely has a sweetness. Although under that powdered sugar and that weird kind of fruit loop thing that I'm getting. I do get a yeasty dough type of scent, particularly on cold sniff. I'm, I'm getting that. Um, and I get it when it's burning too, but I have to get close to the candle. So while a lot of other reviewers are saying this is a bread scent totally first and foremost, I think it is a bread scent, but I get sweetness first. I get powdered sugar, then I get something a little bit like fruit loops, and then I get a baked bread type of scent or like a yeasty dough type of scent. But when it's burning, I have to get really close to the candle, like almost like this, to really get that yeasty bread scent. What's throwing out into the room is more of just like a sweet powdered sugar type of scent. Um, now, getting to that batch variation, what I'm noticing is that the first one that I had, and whenever we truly see batch variation, it usually is between when a candle's been in test and when it actually has launched nationwide, and it's not that big of a difference. It's just like I can tell a little bit um, that the one that I got yesterday has more of the bread scent to it and is perhaps a little less sweet than the first one that I've been burning, which is just like way more sweet, if that makes sense. So this one may be a little bit more in line with what a lot of other people are saying. They're, they're very similar, they're not too different burning. Actually, I have, so I have three of these total now. And I've got another one, the one that I bought yesterday burning right now. And I'm still getting plenty of powdered sugar, sugar fruit loopiness, but there's perhaps a subtle difference in the two that I have. So it's not that I disagree about this being a bread scent, it's just not near as much of a bread scent as like this. Now, I've never smelled Bath Body Works other bread scents. I never smelled the old French baguette. I wish I could, but never did. Um, and then I have not smelled the chestnut glazed croissant. I remember that candle when it came out. It came out at the same time as the malted pistachio truffle when it was just a white barn exclusive. And everyone was paying so much attention to that. I don't think a lot of people paid attention to chestnut glazed croissant. Um, 
Um, so I've never smelled that one, so I can't compare. However, there are several people on Instagram right now. In particular, I am bored 24 Lar. He has declared that this is chestnut glazed croissant repackaged. And so, I mean, I have no reason not to trust him on that. Um, I know he loves that candle, so he would probably be someone who would know. Um, so potentially this is chestnut glazed croissant repackaged. Do I like it? Yes, I do like it. But I think I like Kringle Candle Freshly Baked Bread more. I really like this candle. They don't make it anymore. It's like a retired scent for them. Um, but I actually really like that yeasty dough breadiness. But again, this is totally savory. And this has a lot of sweetness in it. Um, as far as it smelling like a donut, I mean, I think... First of all, what the heck is a campfire donut, Bath and Body Works? Nobody eats donuts on the campfire. Um, but if you were going to compare this to a donut, it would not be like a cake donut. It would be the kind of donut that's more like spongy and then it just is glazed, I guess. But honestly, what I really think this smells like, and I did watch Sean's review right before I filmed this, and he took the words right out of my mouth. I had already decided that I was going to say this smells just like a funnel cake, and he said the same thing. Remember Bath and Body Works had that funnel cake wallflower that came out last year and there was no matching candle. You know, some people had the wallflower tester candles, but that thing didn't smell anything like a funnel cake. It was really spicy and kind of weird. No, this one should be called funnel cake. It probably didn't fit in with the winter aesthetic, but this smells like you can imagine a hot fried dough covered in powdered sugar would smell. This really reminds me of what a funnel cake would smell like if funnel cakes really have a smell. But again, it's just so much powdered sugar and that's the furthest throwing note for me. So if we get into strength and throw, up close, the candle is more complex, but what's throwing is simpler. And so that powdered sugar filled up, sent her sweetness, just kind of general sweetness, a little fruit loopy, kind of filled up my whole, you know, open floor plan in my living room, kitchen, dining room. Um, but it didn't really smell like bread unless I put it maybe in this tiny little office. And the candle did a lot better in a smaller room. If you were gonna burn this in a large, open floor plan, I would maybe consider burning two at the same time. Whereas in the bedroom, in the office, one was plenty. Not the strongest candle, not the weakest. It was hard for me to decide what to rank this because it did so well in the smaller rooms and then just completely got lost in the bigger rooms. So I guess I would have to compromise and say that it would be about a seven, you know, not super strong, not super weak, definitely notably there, but it could be stronger. What I would have loved would to be, would have been uh, a true bread scent like this, but strong, because obviously Kringle candles, this is not very strong. I wish it was stronger, um, but this is still good. I still actually really like it. When I like a candle a lot, I'll get about three. When I'm not like in crazy in love with it, like Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit, I have like eight of those now. Um, but when I just like it pretty well, I'll get three, one to burn right away, one to burn slowly over time, and one to just kind of keep in my collection and have forever. I could potentially see myself maybe getting a fourth one at like $8 candle day in December or something. Um, but you know, for me, it's like a like, not necessarily like a I'm crazy about it, love it. Um, if I could get more of a bread scent from it, I would like it more. But for now, for me, it's more just like a confectioner sugar type of scent. But I recommend trying it, and especially since it's out nationwide now, go give it a sniff and see what you think. Let me know what you guys think too if you've already burned it. The last thing I'll mention is that it hasn't had the greatest burn. Um, the one that I've got going right now, I've had it going for like three hours and it is not pulled out. And this one took like four hours to pull out the first time. And on all of the subsequent burns, it's still taken like two or three hours to pull out. Out. It's got a low flame. Um, eventually it pulls out, but you have to be patient with it. It's not puny wick syndrome yet, but I could see it going that direction. Um, not like a high fast burner. Some people think that's a good thing because the candle will last longer, but it kind of just depends. It's been a little frustrating for me that it won't freaking pull out, you know. Um, but overall, do recommend it. And so stay tuned for my haul video, but also my three other holiday test candle reviews will be up. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Candles and Music. Bye.